How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to show you how you can use CSS to change an image from grayscale into color when you hover over it. So here is the final result. We have an image. If you hover over it, it transforms into color with a bonus animation. This is quite easy to make and you know implement and you might find it on things such as portfolios or galleries, things like that. So let's get right into it. Inside your text editor, you want to first obviously display the image on the screen itself. So I have an image here, it's called macarons.jpg, it's colourful and it works well for this example. So in the HTML file, I'm going to simply use an image tag to insert this image on the screen. So the source will be macarons.jpg and some alt text macarons, perfect. Also we'll give it a class of something like main image so we can then target this using CSS. Speaking of that, let's make a new rule for this main image class. So we'll say dot main image. All right, let's first give it some width. Let's just say 250 pixels. We'll save this, go in the browser and just refresh, see how we're going. Okay, perfect. Now, next step is to make this image grayscale. Here, it's obviously a colored photo but you can use CSS to actually make it grayscale by default. So we can do this using the filter CSS property. So down here, I'm going to say filter. Now for the filter property, we have a few values here. We have things such as hue, rotate, blur, contrast, custom. We want to actually use the grayscale value. Now with grayscale, it's going to make your image into grayscale. But, sorry about that, but you can actually make it different strengths of grayscale. For example, if I say 0.5, that means this image will now be half grayscale, half color. So if I save this, go in the browser and then refresh, we see it is now slightly off color, you know, half grayscale, half color. Now, keep in mind, we can also use percentages here. So. 0.5 is the same as 50%, all right? What we're gonna do is make this 100%, and that means the image will be 100% grayscale. If we save this one and see how it looks, we should see a fully grayscale image. There we are. Now, we're gonna use the hover pseudo class to make this image colored when you hover over it. So. Down here we'll say main image and then colon hover. Now everything inside here will, um, I guess, be applied when you hover over the image. So we're going to say filter once again, but this time say grayscale and give it 0%, which means now when you hover over the image, the grayscale uh, value changes from 100 to 0. And this should give us the simple effect. So we'll save this one, go in the browser, refresh once again, and this time around, the image will change to color if you hover over it. Okay, the next step is to obviously include that animation or the transition. So we'll do that using the CSS transition property. So inside the main image normal uh, class, make a new property here called transition. All right. And here you give two things. The first thing is what you want to actually animate or apply the transition to. In this case, it'll be the filter property. So we'll type in filter right here. The second thing is how long that transition will take. So we'll say 0.25 seconds like that. So this means that whenever the filter property changes on this CSS uh, class, it'll take 0.25 seconds or a quarter of a second to actually change that value. So now what's happening is when we hover over it, the filter property is being changed. So transition will kick in and actually make that look nice and smooth. So if we save this one and we refresh one last time, we should see the final result. Hover over it, there we are, perfect. All right, and that is how you can use CSS in order to make this nice looking grayscale to color effects in your web pages. <laughs>
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.